to level up your, your playing field, right? Mm -hmm. Internally, you're going to have to make the internal changes. Like there's nothing that's going to happen. It's not, there's nothing, there's no magical thing that just happens that, that, that gets you to the place where you want to be at. You specifically have to be intentional. We were mm -hmm. talking about intention. Yeah, right? intention. You gotta, yeah. You gotta be intentional. You can't like if you want to be a millionaire, you you gotta be like. It's your boy TTMT and King D Money here with the D and D Leveling Up podcast. Hey guys, we know the information that we are giving you guys is leveling up your lives and so many great ways first things first though we need you guys to like comment subscribe and share that is so essential guys and we'll catch you in the podcast deuces hey guys we got our our brand new product the youtube the ultimate youtube marketing guide ebook I want you guys to click down in the subscription. This is going to give you impactful information. You know, I've gotten so many different um, ebooks from different people, and it's basically like basic stuff. This goes from basic to intermediate to advanced. You've never done YouTube marketing before. This is the jam. I want you guys to go check it out. It's very, it's for an honest. I'm completely giving this away. Bro, I've discounted 70%. Ooh, right, big bro. We gotta talk out the pot. Yeah, yeah. Seventy percent. Seventy percent off. Limited time only. Listen, I put a whole bunch of work into this. A lot of times when people give you eBooks, they don't really give you that much resources. They give you a certain amount of things, and it's just enough to get you to go ahead and buy another product. But I didn't want to do this with this product. I wanted actual people to actually get something out of it. Value, so, baby. Value. Let's go. And once you look at it and you see the, the aspects, I put 30 lessons in here. So I put a lot of hard work into this. Go ahead and check it out. The link's in the description. Go and get it. Deuces. Deuces. I would ask her, but she's been out of town. She's in Jamaica now. Oh. Well, guys, we're on to something. Yes. We're on to something, man. We might be on to something new. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling that shift, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, okay. All right, we're working with people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I'm the type of person that pays mm -hmm. to not have to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, I don't want to. I'm tired of having to be mm -hmm. understanding. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have to be understanding. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if if I was paying for the space, this would still be happening. That's if true. we pay for Saturday. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm at that. I'm at that point, man. This is dope. Yeah. This is dope, dope little space, but I can find us two walls. <laughs> yeah. That's all we get. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um, mm. moving forward, right? Yeah. Um, Talking about DevCon. DevCon. So in DevCon, man, um, I was just I was thinking about how God had placed these people together because I was talking to the guy and he was basically we were talking about the fact that of course we're three two black three black men in one space. We're like, yeah, we gotta stick together, man. We need to start sharing information is and start doing different things right but it was interesting to me is that this cat used to be, go with flomo he went got a whole doctorate went to harvard university and i was like because he was talking to him initially when when my friend teddy was doing the um presentation but they had met before i know anything about it mm -hmm. but he started talking about music because teddy owns a, a record label oh dope. and he's also into soccer so he's also working on doing soccer exhibitions and everything. he's just like everything you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so, but it just, I just thought about the fact that he invited me to go there. I would have never known this guy even went to Flomo. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's, you know, cybersecurity is like on the rise right now. Shout out to Flomo University. Shout out, Flomo. Go Lions. Go Lions. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the energy. That's You're right. definitely on 1%. Go Lions. Go Lions. Go Lions. So, but you know, the thing is, what, what, what struck me strange is that, like I was thinking about your network because Kevin Samuels, shout out to Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. And TD Jake said, you know, Daniel corrected me on this. He didn't actually say it cost what it cost. TD Jake said that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you know, shout out to TD Jake. <laughs> shout out to TD Jake. <laughs> it shout out to cost. Daniel for for uh saying it again, bringing yeah. it to our uh, attention. Our attention. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Daniel. So, you know, Daniel Vizi, shout out to you, brother. Thank you for, <laughs> for clarifying. So, you know. I mean, I remember that Kevin Sanders was saying like your net worth is connected to your network, your network, your net worth is connected to your network. So 
if you if you start surrounding yourself with people who are on like or at least there's a place that you want to be in the mindset you want to be you're going to start thinking like those individuals you know what i'm saying because when when teddy was doing his his presentation i was like yo he's he's getting he's going with companies like ibm he's dealing with AXA insurance with like these people have hundreds of millions of, do, of, of dollars in their budget and also mm -hmm. the amount of clients right and so at a certain point, you've got to be very comfortable with different numbers. Mm -hmm. You got to get to the point where like your mind is like, okay, a million dollars is not a lot of money to me because if I had to pay, say, say for instance, I had to pay, if you start breaking it up, it's really not that much. Mm -hmm. Think about if you had, you had like four teachers, right? You paying them $25,000 $25, per year. That's a, a very, yeah. very low estimate. But it was at a certain period of time when I started, that was, that was a salary. That was salary. So that's four people. That's a hundred grand, right? So you think about a million dollars is like what? A million dollars. You got five hundred and five hundred thousand, right? You mm -hmm. take a hundred. Now you got nine hundred thousand dollars to deal with. Now that's only four four people, right? Right. Think about how many people you have on staff. Like 20, 30 people. You got you got you know what I'm saying? Now you exponentially thinking this is a lot of money. It's really not that much money. So then I started thinking, I was looking at some stuff bro, this week. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? What car do I want to make when I get to a certain level? Right? Yeah. I was like, what, what car do you want? Because there's a period of time whereas I was talking to somebody and they have a Challenger too. Mm -hmm. And they have exact colors, mine, at mm -hmm. my job. It's like people look at me differently because they're like, what you doing to that car? How you get oh. that car? What you, you know what I'm saying? I used to be the person to be like, how did you get that car? What are you doing to get that car? Right. Looking at the Challenger. Yeah. So now it's like you got to get to the point where like you're looking in the Rolls Royces and the, and their owners. What are you doing to get into that car? Yes, sir. What are you doing to get? Because I was like, you know what? I just want a TRX. You know what I'm talking? You didn't see the TRX before? The TRX. Which TRX? Ram. Ram TRX. Yes. It's nice. It's nice. And it's big it's truck. big, big sexy truck. And guess what? It's like a hundred thousand, right? Hundred twenty, mm -hmm. depending. You can get a you can get a G wagon for that. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Nobody's gonna bother you on TRX. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, nobody's gonna bother you. Mm. Nobody's gonna bother you. Nah. But like I was saying, your net worth is actually connected to your network. You gotta, you gotta start getting out there and putting yourself around different people who are, who are beyond your mindset. Yeah, bro. You know I, 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 that's I've been trying to do that more and more often. Yeah. Because it's like. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that when I don't do it, this is what I get. <laughs> yeah, I get yeah. I get to be around yeah. um hopeful people. Yeah. And I don't have nothing wrong with having hope. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you're having like this blind hope, yeah. Like I've been I was listening to uh ET Eric Thomas on the way here, right? Yeah. The, yeah. the uh hip hop preacher. The hip hop preacher. Right. Shout, yeah, out. Honestly, shout e. out to here, Eric Thomas, man. E. Yeah. Man, I'm listening to him. He's 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 talking about uh hold on i lost my whole complete thing. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just i'm just going somewhere with this man i'm just so happy about it and i'm just like i'm like man what are you talking about mm. <sighs> you talking about let's take a break uh, yeah take a break for the one percent take a break for all the right 1%. so that's how i'm feeling right now but i'm mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move past this mm. right mm. and eric thomas is talking about how we how people make things what they are Mm -hmm. Like he was talking about how people make the lotto what it is. True. The belief. The perception, yeah. The belief in the lotto yeah. makes the lotto what it is. Yeah. And it's not that they had a couple million, hundred million, or billion dollars just sitting around. Mm -hmm. People believed in it so much mm -hmm. that they put their money in mm -hmm. to make it that much. Yeah. The lotto is a belief mm -hmm. that that you could that you could win is made by belief mm. it's not something it just popped up and did it on its own mm. it's not sitting on its own there yeah. has to be a couple mm -hmm. million people yeah. to make a billion dollar jackpot correct yeah you know yeah twenty dollars a piece hundred dollars a piece mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. knows yeah you know but we have this belief in it and i'm mm. like okay so that i tied that to my belief in not just wanting more, mm -hmm. but believing I could have, have more. more. Yeah, that's dope, bro. I'm like, if you believe it yeah. long enough and you move with it, move because with if it. you believe, you make action. That's true. Just like you believe action, you yeah. make, you believe you go in that lotto. That's true. You got right in that line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Rated with a bunch yeah. of people yeah. that also believe. Correct. Have probably more money than you, but you're still in the line. 
Yeah, yeah. You got to get in line. You, you got to get, get in line. line. You got to get in line. Okay. You got to get in line. You got to get in line. You want to win? Yeah. You got to get in line. Yeah, you got to get in line. And, and line. sometimes getting in line mm -hmm. is going to see that car you want. Yeah. Going to see that the house you want. Yeah. Going to see that new furniture set that you think. I mean, I'm going different levels here. Mm -hmm. Going to see that furniture set that you want. Yeah. Going to experience the level mm -hmm. or, or just going to the store and experiencing that iPhone 15, yeah. 16. Exactly. Just, just go and, and experience and it. Experience it. Mm -hmm. Believe that you're moving to the next level. Yeah. You have to have that belief. It was not just going to pop you in the face one day. Yeah. Like you want a million dollars here. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It doesn't work yeah, it doesn't like work that. that. I was thinking about that same thing, bro. Like, like I was thinking about if the, if you want to level up your your playing field, right? Mm -hmm. Internally, you're going to have to make the internal changes. Like, there's nothing that's gonna happen. It's not. There's nothing. There's no magical thing that just happens that 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 gets you to the place where you want to be at. You specifically have to be intentional. We were mm -hmm. talking about intentional. Yeah, right? intentional. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta be intentional. You can't like if you want to be a millionaire, you you gotta be like. Remember, I, there was a video that, that came from Myron Gold. He said, okay, if you want to be a millionaire, you have to decide to make a million dollars first. And then, then you got to take the steps, like break down what are the things you need to do in order to get a million dollars. So, you know, it, you can break it down into tens to thousands. Mm. You got to make that certain amount of, per month or per year in order to get that. So, you can, he said that one thing that was interesting that you can make, uh, it's, it's just as easy for him to make a million dollars in a year as it is to make a million dollars in an hour. Because mm. you have to condense it, it's all your belief. So it's, it's like this, you can make deals that make you $10,000, right? Right. You just gotta learn how to make those deals with the right audience, with the right market to get $10,000. So you're not speaking to the people who have the budget for $10,000 per hour to give you 10,000. So you haven't got your mind wrapped around the number. Right. You've gotta get yourself wrapped around the number in belief that, listen, I deserve to get paid based on the content I'm producing, whatever I'm giving for ten thousand dollars. Because somebody's out there making ten thousand dollars. Somebody's out there making that money, exactly, guys. There's also there's also like brightening your horizons when you get yeah. around those things that you mm -hmm. really like. Mm -hmm. There's different types of people up there. Yeah, and it's not just because mm -hmm. don't get locked into oh you're a rich person so you got to be a bad person or yeah. you got to be some type of mm -hmm. no. It's not always like that. Money isn't Money is just your perception of what it is at the time. True, exactly. Okay. If you're a rich there's, jerk. There's, whew, you're you're a jerk when you were you wouldn't have no money. You're, you're just a rich. Jerk. You're just a jerk with money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you were a frugal person, you're gonna be a frugal person with money. Yeah. Now you can't get there, mm -hmm. wishing and hoping. Yeah, that's gonna that happen. that that you're just gonna get the basic. Yeah. Like you're just gonna get the regular. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna get. You might not even get. You might not believe you can have that. Yeah. There are people that just don't believe they can have yeah. they basic necessities they of yeah. stuff, bro. Yeah. And you you got to learn that everybody's at a different level. You got to raise yourself mm -hmm. to the level you want to be at. Yeah. And you got to believe that it can happen. Yeah. The yeah. sooner you do that, the sooner you do that, the quicker, quicker things can start mm -hmm. multiplying in yeah. your life. Like uh, I was watching uh, Jim Rohn. I was watching a speech okay, on Jim okay, Rohn. Okay. He says, and he was like, man... Mm -hmm. You get a million dollars, mm. you best become a millionaire mm. so you can keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I believe that's speaking to the mm. mindset yeah. of a millionaire. Yeah. Because you get that million, mm. and let's say you're still doing the same things that got you in the same financial struggle mm. that you're in today. Yeah. They're only going to multiply because you got more money. More money, exactly. And you're gonna your spending habits are going to go according to whatever you... They don't change. They don't. Unless you change them. So if you if you have a million, if someone just puts a million dollars in your pocket, your same spending habits you have now is going to apply to that million dollars, and you won't be a millionaire because you know. Remember, that? I think you told me somebody else who said they spent a dollar and then they weren't a millionaire anymore. They weren't a millionaire no more. Exactly. I think that was Steve Harvey. Harvey was like, "Hey man, I'm a millionaire. I'm taking my family out. Yeah, he takes his family out. This, you know, mm. dinner dinner's over. Mm. He's not a millionaire no more. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, it, that's what that really speaks. That's really speaks to you. Got to be. You got to have that millionaire mindset. Yeah. Or you got to have that thousandaire mindset. Or you yeah. got to just have that mindset. Yeah. That you can make money for yourself. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what I'm fighting with. I'll tell y'all the truth right now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm fighting with mm -hmm. the fact that I've been getting used to somebody putting money in my account every mm -hmm. two weeks yeah. for yeah. the last 15, 20 years. Yeah. I've been used to that. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm acclimated. I'm like, oh, <laughs> gotta wait for them. As soon as you get paid, you look at the calendar and go, okay, yeah. two more weeks. This is what I could do. <laughs> this is what I could do. This is what I could do with this. It's like two more weeks. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, because that first check spent. Come yeah. on, y'all. It's done. Let's tell the truth. Yeah. That first check is spent. It's already gone. It's spent. As soon as, as, soon as you get it, it's done. The insurance it's, is done. It's gone. Yeah. So if you don't change your mind on where it's going to yeah. go when you get it. Yeah. It's everybody else that has a belief it's, that their money they, coming to them exactly. that's what the money's going to it's true it's already spoken before you even started but you know i was re- i was thinking about this today actually someone was talking to me about and they kind of just recently uh, as a friend of mine who's kind of reevaluating his life based on where he's at now right i was like i told him i said listen you could change your your life could change around in one day talking to the right person and have the right moment but you've got to be prepared for that moment you, you can't just like, I, I was talking to somebody actually um, that was wanted to figure out like, why am I, you know, they were doing the nine to five grind, they're tired of all. I said, listen, I gave them some, some strategies they need to work on in order to get their business to a certain level. They already have all the technical ability. Yeah. They got all the skills that they need. They got, we got all these cameras and these phones. I told them, I said, exactly how they're supposed to lay it out. I say, execute all those things I told you. You execute all those things and you drive yourself into them you're going to get what you want to get out of this situation because when I talk to people and they get depressed about where they're at, mm-hmm. like where they're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm this amount of age and I think I should be here and this. I don't even worry about that because I just know that I'm grinding on my own behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. You don't have to see it, but I know that I'm doing that. So I never can be depressed about where I'm at because I'm where I'm supposed to be at. Yeah, you yeah, saying? you got I'm like like and that speaks to once again we're gonna drop back to belief. You gotta believe that your grind yeah. is gonna is gonna is gonna excel you yeah. at somewhere. Yeah. There there is a a conjury, a whole bunch of people. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of people who mm-hmm. just won't do the vision that you have planned for yourself. Exactly. They just won't do it. Like yeah. they'll have it. Yeah. It'll be the ideas, our ideas are not that special, guys. Oh they're bro. floating around yeah, they're all floating day. Around. Yeah. Passing people. Yeah. Some people think about it and they just yeah. say no. And then they got some people who go, I'm going to try it. Mm-hmm. Then you got those people who go, it's going to get done. I'm not trying it. Yeah, I'm not trying it You know anymore. what I'm saying? That's that's what I like about the podcast. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm not trying to, to a start pod- a, a podcast. podcast. We're, exactly. I'm we're doing, doing a podcast. podcast. Exactly. And I don't waste my time. Exactly. And you know, this is the interesting thing. I had to realize even when I went to the to the Emerge Con, that uh, the Emerge event in Miami, Tech Week, that my my um this is an awakener right Mm -hmm. that your your idea is not necessarily a new idea Mm -hmm. just because it's because it's new to you doesn't mean it's new to everybody else people there's a there's an iteration of your idea that's why i was telling somebody else today i was like listen i'm not afraid of somebody trying to take the idea because the idea is already out there right you know i'm saying there might be somebody in the woodworks working on that idea and you see it come out boom so man i thought about that i wish i did that you know what I'm saying? But I'm already doing it in my way. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter if you do it. I don't care if you're painting something, right? You mm-hmm. paint this this type of painter where you can have all the same colors, but you're never going to be able to paint it the way I paint. No. No matter what you do, because I know the dynamics of what's going into it. And no, unless I share those dynamics, mm-hmm. there's nothing for me to fear. A lot of times I'm realizing, because I was talking to to uh, this, this guy about some things that he was talking about in relationships and dealing with certain types of individuals. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, that's really your, just your fear. So he said, I, I don't want to deal with this because I had experience with that. I said, yeah, but that's based on your fear. And I'm realizing like more and more and more, whether, it, whether it's regarding a stepping out anywhere mm-hmm. or anything else, it's really your level of fear. Like if you want to go and meet different people, you're going to have to talk to them. Right. And people's, people's greatest fear is talking to other people or talking in front of individuals. But when I'm looking at the people who are making it or the people who are who are progressing, they're all doing presentations. They're all presenting something to somebody. And if you're not willing to present or express what you know, which is basically be a teacher. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not willing to teach anybody anything that you have. It's really a selfish thing. And you're not able to get it out there because you're thinking, oh, man, I don't like to talk to in front of people. I want to expose myself. But guess what? There's something that's in you that God has planted in you that needs to come out. And you got to germ. You got to plant that seed in other individuals. And if they, if you plant that seed in them, that germinates to produce other results. But you've got to do it with other individuals. You can't do it by yourself. Like there's certain things you can do by yourself at a certain period, but at a 
after a while, you have to have a team. Like if you want to grow beyond this, you got to have a team. And have, have a team means you got to present something else outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're going to do that is decide like, listen, I have to stop living in a shell. I yeah. got to come out. I mean, we had to come out and, I mean, be courageous about it. This is a courageous thing to do. This is, this is big. You know what I'm saying? Because at, at first I was like, man, I don't want to be on camera. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be on camera. I'm telling you right now, we got people outside the door planning yeah. to do an event outside this door. Exactly. And we are like, Oh, we're gonna have this podcast. We're gonna have this podcast. We don't want to stop okay. because of that. I, 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 I will, I'll apologize to you after I finish my podcast. Exactly. But it's not gonna happen any sooner. Exactly. It might be a sh it might be a shorter podcast, but yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, it's and that's it's because I feel like we 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 put ourselves in this position. Exactly. Like I had something to do earlier today, mm -hmm. and it just it just time just was rolling. Yeah, yeah. Time you know, I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, I want to get here on time. But <laughs> yeah, opportunities yeah. were being opened up. I, I, I told myself I believe in myself enough to even yeah. put myself out there to go even sit in somebody's dealership right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I am yeah. Not, I, am, I don't feel in the position yeah, to, be, to there. be there. Bro. But I'm there. I'm there. Bro, you know the funny thing is? It's so weird because I did not think I had everything together when I was getting that car. Oh, and I really did not. Maybe we did. Maybe we you did. Maybe we got to get some God some credit on this you know one. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> maybe we did. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it, I, I feel like God opened up the door and He made a way for that situation because. But there's situations that if what if I never decided to do it? It's only because I had to do it. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I was like, this is the choice. I'm gonna make the best choice I possibly get because if I'm gonna stick with this decision. Yeah, I may as well get what I want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was yes. like I said, I was watching ET on the way here, uh -huh. and he says God honors the moving forward. Yeah, he doesn't. It doesn't move in that that moving backwards stuff. He yeah. doesn't do all of that. He doesn't honor that. Yeah, anything that's gonna push you out of your your, your comfort, comfort zone. zone. Yeah, God's gonna God is getting ready to honor that. Yeah, and I don't mean to go religious with this part, but <laughs> yeah, but that's what we are, mm. and we're moving forward. You know, and you hear that? So that you hear that that's, that that's, lets you know that lets you know that. We are leveling up <laughs> exactly. no matter what. We know you guys need this information. Yeah. So we're in here yeah. battling through sound. Yeah. And other people event, and other people doing stuff. Trying to impose their to, will. To make it happen. Yeah, exactly. Because if you don't impose your will, somebody else will. Exactly. Because you got you can't, you know, I realized something that that's great, but bro, because to be honest with you, if you don't impose your will, people just shift you where they want to shift you. They just move you around. Exactly. And they just give you the narrative where they want you to go. There it is. I was, <laughs> I was like, you know, because this lady was outside. She was talking to us and she was like, well, well we're, we're doing this way. Well, this is what we're doing. <laughs> you know, so you can do what you're going to do, but we're doing this. And I'm trying to find like a yeah. middle ground. Yeah. That's that's yeah. that's the way I am. Yeah. But I'm starting to stop doing that because yeah. people take advantage of the middle ground stuff. You try and accommodate. I'm like. I can tell you that we're leaving yeah. when we're leaving. Yeah. And then exactly. we'll move your stuff where it needs to go. Exactly. Because we, <laughs> we still we have can't. a right to be in the space that we're yeah, at. We, we, that's right. And I'm I'm, yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, how can we negotiate? And it just sounds like she wasn't trying to negotiate any. negotiate any type of time. Yeah. And then she came around to it. But I had to say yeah. that we're doing this. Yeah. Regardless. And just look like you mean, you mean, I mean, you mean it. What you mean? What you mean? Like, because yeah, exactly. if you don't, then you, you then, don't. There's anybody they, they saying you anything, you. man. Yeah. They just what's a them. what's a hard dealership today? Yeah. You tried to sell me sixty thousand dollars worth of motorcycle. <laughs> sixty thousand. So I was like, hold on. <laughs> I had to shake my head. And then I I ain't done with the other motorcycle was payment. It, was it trike? Okay. <laughs> no, oh, not the trike. Yes, I got a funny story about that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my wife. Shout out to the right. She got on. <laughs> she got on a trike today. Oh, <laughs> the joke is the joke is the joke is that she doesn't like. She yeah, doesn't we, like the we trike look. We, we went on, it looks old. It looks like an old timey hey, type listen, bike. There. We went. We went on a, a trip to Tampa when we were did on our last our last uh, podcast, and I talked. To, I was like. Listen, Tam, let's go on. I think I want to get a trike. It's like, mm -mm, I don't like no trikes. Mm -mm. I like the way that looks. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I was like, oh, babe, you sure? And I like, I like to, I like to mess around. I'll be like, now, babe, you sure you don't I want one of those? Indicated. You don't want one of those giant uh, hatchbacks? Uh. You, I call them the vans of vans of giant hatchbacks to me. <laughs> yeah. So oh, she does God. not like the van look. Oh my god. Oh my god. As you, you know. Oh man. So we're in the dealership, and I'm like, yo. Uh -huh. They bring they bring you the paper and you're like oh some people I found out that some people mm -hmm. 
feel like if you're going to the dealership, mm -hmm. you have to get a car. You have to. They just, I feel like, you know what? You shouldn't even be here if you're not getting you it. You should, though. you don't have to get a car. You don't have to. You could just look. You could just look. Yeah. You could enjoy. You yeah. could try and figure out if you really want to pay for this. Exactly. And they brought me all the paperwork, all the numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I haven't even been on the bike that they're trying what? to sell me yet. What? I'm like, huh? Uh-uh. I'm like, these numbers don't. They don't matter. They don't. I don't have to. They don't. Those I don't numbers. believe in these numbers. <laughs> exactly. Because I haven't even ridden the bike to to feel like I want to pay this. And I don't have to justify that because it hasn't been justified to me. You just you just telling me what just you want. Telling me what you what you're gonna give me. I'm exactly. like, what? At what price? Yeah. Like, nah, this is not gonna work. All right. Yeah. Uh, when I come back. Mm. We'll talk about this. These numbers won't work even when I had the money to do it. Yeah. These numbers don't work for me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last time I came in here, mm -hmm. I walked out. I walked out of that dealership mm -hmm. with putting no money down. Mm -hmm. Now you want me to put thirty percent? It's a different time. I get it. Mm -hmm. It's a different time. It's a different place. Mm -hmm. It's a different situation. Mm -hmm. But to go from mm -hmm. zero, yeah, to thirty percent, what is? absolutely insane to me to me that's the way i see it right yeah. now a millionaire like oh i deal with stuff like this like all the time mm. they might not even take that deal anymore yeah they're 30 percent down mm. are you insane yeah okay 30 percent is who that's a lot you leave a lot of money in there exactly why would you take that you can take that 30 percent invest it someplace else there it is you know what i'm saying because you know that that vehicles depreciate by a certain percentage right but i'm, I'm like i'm like even even that what I'm more speaking to is the deal. Yeah. Is it a deal mm -hmm. if I give you 30% yeah. of what it costs yeah. for this? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> right now. Like not over time. Yeah. But right now I give you 30%. Mm. It has to be extremely valuable mm. or going to be worth even more mm. for me to put 30% down on yeah. anything. Yeah. Depreciating or not, mm -hmm. some things do appreciate that are depreciating uh, uh depreciating things mm -hmm. some cars you can sell for for more later mm -hmm. some bikes you can sell for more later mm -hmm. that some bikes have special um paint jobs mm -hmm. and they're a special year mm -hmm. when if you keep it good and you keep it up nice mm -hmm. you can sell it for more later it, it, de it depends on what the deal is yeah but if i'm buying some mm -hmm. a regular regular regular, regular. regular mm -hmm. high high priced bike mm -hmm. and it it isn't nothing really special about it. Mm. And it's not special to nobody around you. That's not the deal. Yeah. I'm going to give you 30% for a regular degla bike. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can keep my regular exactly. degla bike. Exactly. I went outside in that parking lot and said, I'm going <laughs> like to wash you real good. <laughs> that's, hey, that's, that's, I said, I'm going to wash you real a good. Great looking bike. My bike it looks it's amazing. freaking awesome. It so to amazing. trade it in, yeah. I'll have to find something else that's freaking awesome. Yeah. And the color schemes that they have mm. are kind of trash. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, some colors are nice. Uh -huh. They're just nice. But it's not worth me yeah. doubling my yeah. payment exactly. for it. I don't for like, it. What, what I, no. It's not practical. I'm not into this. Yeah. I mean, like, I, don't, I, don't, I, 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 try, I try not to be mm -hmm. too practical. Yeah. Because cause practical mm -hmm. is relative to who you are and what you've been through. Mm, true and also could be also practical also can be the enemy of your uh your success by being not being courageous because some things that seem practical right and pragmatic to do they might be some they might be they will might be stopping you from being creative and using your imagination and yeah. and like we said before Myron Golden has told us before creativity mm. is, the is at the high, highest level of being paid man yeah it's you gotta be well be get creative with mm. what you're doing yeah like today we're gonna get creative and we're gonna do like a shorter version of this podcast <laughs> yeah, because we're being... I can't stand this anymore. exactly because I need my own screen space to exactly. create how yeah. i want to create yeah i understand fighting through certain things mm. but there are certain things i don't have to put up with. true you don't have to deal with like this right here yeah we fought mm. <laughs> yeah. i was late i'm not gonna lie i can mm. take onus to that mm. but and still yeah if you got your own yeah you, you don't, don't have, have to, to put up with this. You have to put up, yeah. You don't have to put up with any outside influences and you or can, any type of noise on the outside. And you get people to be literally creative knowing as you want to exactly. Be. People knowing that you're recording, <laughs> knowing that you're recording, but getting still like not in the respectful enough to be like, okay, they're probably doing something in here. Let's be respectful of that. Hey, 
You know what I said before. They pay for a certain space. Yeah. We do at our certain space. Yeah. And it's like, okay, we just bump your heads today. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't want to have to fight through that. Mm. Um, number two mm-hmm. is I want to be creative, mm-hmm. and it's not feeling conducive to being creative. Yeah. But without making this sound like a like a like, rant, like a rant. Yeah. Yeah. Without. I, I am like I told you. If you read and the you shirt, that's what I'm on. And I'm it's real... good to be real because I told somebody the other day that our 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 podcast really is about being transparent. Let's be transparent. Like, we you leveling up. You know, and you remember when you told me something that 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 I thought was interesting. Like last week, we were talking about like we we usually I could do marketing, put money behind certain ads, push push certain things yep. up, get some things. But we were talking about you know you said about like let's just do it organically, bro. Let's let everything go the way it's go. If it when it blows, right. you just keep putting in the work because eventually it's gonna hit no matter what. Because right. you just got to keep on putting it. Because God honors the faithful. So right. you know what I'm saying? If He's got if God honors people moving forward, like Et says. Yeah, we're we're just moving forward no matter what the situation is. I got you know I ain't trying to you know give us uh, uh, kudos and everything, but we have never stopped from the time that we started. We just kept going okay. each time. And we're going to keep going no matter what gonna, happens. No matter it. what spaces we've been in. That's it. We, <laughs> we've, been in we've been in some <laughs> weird been, we, spaces. We, we just looked at some no place. <laughs> no, no Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> we've been we, in some weird places. Exactly. No Diddy. But we, oh, we just been in a, we just We just came a couple months ago from a weird space. And we looked at it because we had seen it on the, on, the, on the screen. And we're like, yo, we don't need to revisit that. We don't need to go back we're, here. We're going exactly. backwards if we do this. Exactly. So, but it gives it gives us perspective. We want you guys to understand. We want to give you perspective on on seeing growth and transparency without all the fluff right. that goes on. You know what I'm saying? Right. It may not look the best today. Yeah. But as we progress, the idea is to show you guys that there's levels to this. Yeah. We could have went out and bought all the best equipment, but mm-hmm. then the conversation could have been lackluster. Yeah. Or true. we could have not yeah. been connecting on on on, on, on topics. Levels. Yeah, exactly. On different levels, or or getting new people. Yeah. To help us out, which is going to carry us even for, further. Yeah. If we got all the best mm-hmm. new stuff already yeah. set up and ready to go, exactly. but the you got to have some. Is... You got to have a different type of exactly. team behind team you. behind you in order right? to facilitate. And it. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, dirt. Mm-hmm. We could put the money into getting these views up, but. If we put the money to getting, if we're only getting what we previously got, yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not really doing anything. It's not really doing anything. I'm like organically, yeah, it's cool, mm-hmm. but we need to find out what what things are blocking. Yeah, what is thing was? Are they? The are we being? Are we being throttled mm-hmm. for our content? Is yeah. our content being stopped at a certain level? Mm-hmm. Is why is it stopping at that level? Yeah, this is the stuff I'm like. That's what's that's what needs to be put mm. money into. Mm. Right? That's what needs to be that's how I feel. Like that's stuff that needs to get money put into. Yeah. Like finding somebody that knows what door that is that they're not letting us into. Yeah. Yeah. Because True. it shouldn't just the number shouldn't just stop all of a sudden. You yeah. shouldn't have a post mm. that gets seen by two hundred people in a day. Yeah. And then it just is that 236 yeah, exactly. for the next month and a half? Exactly. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. It seems like they're stopping you, it for a reason. You got to go in here with strategy, y'all. Yeah. And we're going to get out of here with the yeah. same strategy right here, here. on the D&D, D&D Leveling Up podcast. And yeah, if you, you don't, don't know, know now, now you know. know. Make them decisions. Deuces. Deuces. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Because I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, it's irritated. irritated. Ah, this is this is like it ain't even just her. It's like her. With all these distractions.